are we inspired? Thank you. Now that you have all that inspiration, let's hear about how you can use it. Miss Christy Ecton will talk about bone marrow transplant. <laughs> hey guys. Yep, I'm Christy, and I have worked at Children's Medical Center for 15 years. I've seen so many life-altering experiences, but tonight I'm going to tell you about bone marrow transplantation, about what you can do to sign up, whose lives it saves, and how it saves those lives. I met Krista when she was four. I got to escort Sting around the hospital, and we met her. She had sickle cell disease complications. It's a lifelong genetic disease, and it progressed. It kept getting worse and worse as she got older, so she looked for the one cure, and that is a bone marrow transplant. The best transplant you can get, if you need one, is from your sibling. It's a one in four chance. She only had one sibling. Luckily, her brother was a match, so now she's cured. <laughs> this is Roz. He is an artist from Milwaukee. He was told that there's not enough African Americans on the registry, so he typed, he matched, he donated for Latriva. This is when she first met him. She just walked right up and hugged him. So after she hugged him, her medical team said, hey, you can take off your mask, you're okay. So they started painting. And what they painted, we made our t-shirt to celebrate we transplanted kids for 20 years here in Dallas. So, um, so over here on the left, little Laurel said to Krista that she's her big twin because her bone marrow saved her from TAR syndrome, it cured her. And then Blakely told Steph that they are peanut butter and jelly because she cured her leukemia. Josh, his sickle cell caused him to have a stroke before he turned two. This is him right before he stroked. This is him at six. He doesn't have a match. It's getting worse and worse. We dedicated a whole marrow drive to finding his match. Then we reached out to Robin Roberts because she got a match from her sister, cured her, her disease, and she said, yep, I'm going to help you. So then she told the story that was heard and watched around the, wor around the country, maybe the world, YouTube. But um, she uh, shared our story. Then she came to meet Josh. She wanted to see him in person. They had a great time. They did selfies. But the point is, the registry is too disparaging. It is not representative of what America is. Twelve, more than 12 million people are on the registry. More than half of those are Caucasian. That's not the, that's disproportionate to what America is. And we need to get more people on this registry. Like for instance, this next graph, if a black person were to need a match and they look to the registry, they're eight times more likely not to find their match than a white person. And if you notice this graph doesn't even address, what if you're multiracial? What if you're more than just one of these races? You're screwed. I'm, I'm not really, but <laughs> I mean, it's disparaging. So what, what am I asking you to do? Just get the kit, swab your mouth, commit. And then when you commit, what you're doing is saying, if I'm called, I'm actually gonna go for further testing and then I'm gonna be a match. The ways you donate, immediately you say, how's that happen? So everybody thinks of this one, from the hip, it's anesthesia, you get a syringe in your hip, that's where the most bone marrow is in your body. And then, you know, if you, if, well, you feel like you fell on your ass really hard, but then you go back to work after a while. The other way is you get drugs that, that push the cells more into your um, bloodstream and then you give her a phoresis donation. Anybody gave plasma in college? It's a lot like that, but you're actually doing it to save somebody's life. That's the feeling. So Todd, he gave a phoresis. <laughs> Jose, who's in the audience, gave from the hip. <laughs> he, gave from the, he gave from the hip just two months ago and the patient is already discharged. Joshua watched as his marrow was given to his brother Jude, 12 years old, and he gave for his brother. I have been on the registry for 20 years. I've never been called, but you know what I have done? I've told these stories. I've asked people to give at Children's for 20, well, 15 years, and I've delivered bone marrow to 35 patients in seven countries, 23 cities. I've literally carried marrow, but my favorite memory is when I went to Manhattan, after I dropped off the marrow the next day, walking through town, I met Bill Murray. <laughs> so, now mind you, this is my PSA. He is not eligible to donate. You have to recruit people between the ages of 18 and 44. But we, <laughs> we had a great conversation and we might have had a kiss. So, 
if you, if you um, follow me on Twitter this week, I will post videos about all these stories I've told you and more. And you share these stories and you tell your friends and you tell your family and you get registered. It's that easy. And right now, because you don't want to take my word for it because you already know I've never donated, I'm going to ask anybody who's in the audience who's ever donated or been a, a recipient stand up and let people talk to you and you tell them their experience. Thank you. Yay, I see some people standing up. 